So everything you're going to need to build this thing is shown in my inventory right here with the exception of the tape measure, the building stick, and the creative tank. Obviously you're going to be supplying steam some other way, and these are just optional to make the building easier. So first thing you're going to want to do is build a 7x7 area out of turbine housing, so 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Next take more of your reinforced turbine housing and you go up by 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And do the same for all four corners, just like this. Take your turbine rotor bearing and slap it right in the middle. Now here you can either use reinforced turbine glass or just more reinforced turbine housing. I'm going to use glass here because it looks nicer. Uh, just fill in all of this and make sure you leave uh, this one block gap at the top. Now go ahead and place your turbine rotor shaft right here in the middle and then the turbine rotor blades all along its sides and do that all the way until you get up to the top. Once you've made it to the top, assuming you've had the exact correct number of materials, then you should find that the top rotor shaft is flush with the glass over here. So now grab whatever conductor blocks you're using and just fill them in like this. If you're using insanite like I am right here, then just follow this shape. Same goes for inanite. If you are using ludicrate or ridiculite, then you'll want to do this kind of pattern here. No, this is not hollow inside, so if I peek inside here really quick, you can see that this is indeed filled in. Once you're done with that, go ahead and just roof your entire thing up just like this. And now you can come back down to the bottom, place your uh, controller right here. You should notice that it kind of assembles itself. You can also place your energy tap, this is where you're going to extract your power from, and your fluid port, which is where you're going to pump your steam in. Here I'm going to use a creative fluid tank, but normally you'd have to hook it up to some other uh, power source. Now you can access this, turn it on, and yeah, let it fly. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to learn more about how these turbines work, then I go into more depth in the linked video. I'll see you guys there.